So, I found this two weeks ago, actually. This is from 1992. Oh, oh. Yeah, so there we're playing uh, Fatal Fury, Samurai Showdown, all the SN and, uh, SNK games uh, mm -hmm. in 1992 in the arcade. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so I was very excited to, to check out the game uh, that you guys have been working on. Uh, tell us a little bit about, about why the return of Fatal Fury for you guys. Yeah. It's been a while. So, this is SNK. まあ、格闘ゲームもまた作り始めるぞってなって生まれたKOF14が生まれてっていう風にいろいろと作っていってじゃあもう次何か新しく作るとしたらやっぱもうガロー伝説っていう風になっていくかなっていう感じですはいそ
じゃないかなと思うんですけれども、うん、それを考えてやっぱじゃあファンの,あの答えに合わせるためにこれが不可欠だとか何かありますでしょうかなんでしょうねグラフィックの面とか<笑>ファンのもちろんファンの方々が思い思いに描いてるものってのはもちろんあると思うんで。まあ、ただそれを 100% 拾っていくわけにも多分いかないと思うんですよね、うん、作っていく上で、うん、ただやっぱりこの画廊だけで言うんだったらちょっとこうアニメチックというか、あのー、そういうリアルでは、うん、リアルチックじゃないと言ったらいいですかね、うん、っていう風な要素がやっぱ画廊として正しいのかなという風な感じで作っていってる感じです。You know, it's, it's one thing, sure, you know, these games, obviously we have the fans in mind when we're making them.、Um, But you can't just keep that, like, oh, well, base that everything off of that, right? That's, I think, possibly、uh, not a good idea. And so, but I think what we have right now in terms of graphics,、uh, you know, it has,、uh, it's not 100% realistic, it has a kind of an anime style to it.、Um, and we think that,、uh, that it will re- really resonate well with fans,、uh, what we have right now. And what are the characters, returning characters, are we going to get to see in, in this game? And also, any new ones? So, yeah, I know, the first one. もう原作、えー、原作とか過去作のまだ戻ってくるキャラとかあるいは新しいキャラとかについてあの一言でもまあ<笑>復活キャラクターとかに関しては今後の発表を期待してください、はいろいろと多分楽しんでいただけると思うんでっていう、はい、でまあ新しいキャラのプリチャだけで言えばまあ上東の弟子であのムエタイを学んでいるかつファイティングスタイルもそのムエタイをベースにして誰でも触れて楽しんでもらえるようなキャラクターを目指して作ってました。You know,、uh, yeah, so in terms of like、uh, returning characters, you know, there's nothing that we can really announce today,、um, but please, you know, look forward to our new announcements when we do announce、uh, the following characters. But、uh, in terms of a new character, we do have Preacher,、uh, who's new to the series, and she is,、uh, you know, Her background is that she's、uh, Jo, Higashi Jo's、uh, disciple.、Uh, she knows Muay Thai, and so it's a lot easier for pick fa- fans to pick up.、Uh, she's definitely a very beginner friendly、uh, character, so please check her out. Okay, so why City of the Wolves? Why, why that name <laughs> in the game? Why did City of the Wolves have the name of the name? Well, probably. テリーにもともと狼のイメージがあると思うんですけど今回ストーリー的な意味でいろんな人がいろんな思いを持って大会に出てるだから街の中にいろんな狼たち思いを持った狼たちがいますよっていうのがベースにありますかっこいい So you know Terry is, is himself he's like a wolf right he, he's strong capable does his own thing and, and in the setting of South Town he's not the only wolf There. There's a lot of other people with their own ambitions trying to fight for their own goals and their own dreams. And so we want to have that kind of、uh, you know, expressed in the title of the game. That's cool. That's cool.、Um, was there anything that i- inspired you to get into developing fighting games? What, what, you know, as, a, as a kid, was there like a game that probably got you into developing games? についての質問なんですけれども、はい、個人的に自分がなんか格闘ゲーム作りたいってなんかきっかけとかなんか思いとかありましたでしょうかああだいぶ昔の話だな、えー、<笑>こ,うこういうゲームがなんかこれでインスパイアされたのあのなんかファイニングジャンルとか何かありましたでしょうか,ーししょうかーでも格闘ゲームを作りたいだけで言うと多分侍が一番その自分の中のベースになってるかなとは思います、うん、侍ショーダウンが。新作とかあるは過去のえっ、ー、と、えー、本当にベースになってるのは新作です、作ってた人間なんで。はいはいはいはい。<笑>はい、so, you know, いじゃあ、もう格闘ゲームにはちょっとそんなに触れてないってことですかいや、いっぱい例えばギルティギアとか、はいはい、あのストリートファイターとかは遊んできたんですけど、それこそプロになるレベルまで極めてたわけじゃないんで、うん、そういう意味で上手くなっていったのが多分。サムスピが一番かなっていうの意味でベースにあるっていう。Yeah, definitely, you know, growing up, yeah, you know, I played、uh, Guilty Gear and other fighting games, and it wasn't anything of a pro level, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the aspect of fighting games. But when I joined SNK and started working on Samurai Showdown, that's when I started taking my gameplay like the next level, and I got really focused on like what is a good fighting game, what how it feels to play fighting games, and like all those you know emotions and everything. And so I took that and then brought that into making、um, Fatal Fury. What was the favorite part about working on this project for you and the team? 
今まで,ですとですね、ガロ伝説、今ガロ伝説あの開発してる中で一番これ楽しかった思い出とかなんかあるでしょうか。思い出っていうか部分。えっ、ー、とそれこそいろんなシステムを試して入れていける時期がいっぱいあったんで、うん、例えばあのあレブアクセルも元々は SPG 中しかできないとかにしてて。これもっと他のところでもできたらいいよねっていうふうにいろいろ試行錯誤してる時期が一番楽しかったですね。そもそもじゃあ SPG 限定だったんですけどもそれで外して。あそうですよ。た例えば真ん中の SPG 限定とかにしてたんですよね。はい、ただそのいろんなことがあってっていう試せててっていうのでっていう。はいはい、yeah, um, so definitely was that experimental phase where we're going through a bunch of different systems and we're like, all right, well, what works well with others,、um, especially with like the SPG. Uh, and we have like RevAxel, which is like, you know, allows those, those attacks to like link together. Originally, it was、uh, you had to be in SPG mode to be able to use that, to be able to link your special attacks together. But we decided, you know, I, I think it would be better to just not have it strictly into that. And so going back and forth, you know, there w a s other placement things with the SPG. If it would, you could only do RevAxel if it was like in the middle. But that experimental phase was, I think, the funnest thing. I、well, yeah. uh, just want to say、uh, thank you for, for the interview. I'm excited to try out the game, and I know the fans are very excited to hear more about Fade of Fury. Do you guys have a release date at all, or this is something、oh. that hasn't been announced yet? Game no, like a Kai Hatsubi, or like a Nanika Kimari Master, just show up. So, no, 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 no,